What's up guys? How's it going? Welcome back to Investing with Paco. Today it's a very important video, especially if you're investing in Y5 token. Yes, today I'll be talking about the Y5 finance token. I did make a video about it about three weeks ago, four weeks ago, which was before the pre-sale. I wasn't encouraging everybody to buy uh, that token. I was only stating um, or kind of go over and going going over the white paper and just kind of pointing out some stuff I saw. And well, today it's a very, very important video that you guys need to watch. Like I said, if you're investing in this token, you should really pay close attention to this video. And I guess let's see what happens and uh, comment down below your suggestions and your ideas of what this video will be about today. But before we get this video started, please consider hitting the subscribe button and the like button. I upload videos just like this every single day involving the cryptocurrency market. So if you enjoy learning about new cryptos and at the same time making money, subscribe to the channel and join the family. And with that being said, let's get this video started. And I just want to go ahead and do my disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor. I only do these videos to entertain and to educate people and always do your own research. So on the screen, we do have Y5 token. I will not be going over the Twitter account. I'm not really going to be giving you any updates. But we need to talk about something serious around Y5 token. I'm not sure you guys know about it because I did not know about this until someone commented on one of my videos yesterday about EGC, about some FUD going around. So shout out to him. Um, shout out to Daniel. And around this, it says go check this out so I will go check out this and I'll let you know what I found so first things first we have Y5 finance token their website right here's a strange part now there's this company called Albany group so look at look at the screen we have Y5 token which is the cryptocurrency website and now we have Albany group it looks similar doesn't it they obviously they it looks a little different but it's still skyscrapers kind of zooming in and exactly here skyscrapers kind of zooming in you might say what what what's weird about that um, anybody could do that yeah you might be right but let's keep looking on y5 tokens website so about section you know tells you what they're trying to do let's go to albany their principles look at this obviously it doesn't have four but the format and how they wrote it exactly the same almost obviously it's different colors um obviously it is not saying the same thing and you might be saying what what big deal they should just use the regular format that a lot of websites out there use and you're like i'm like yeah you could be right but let's keep going wi-fi token let's see here way invest y5 so i guess this is like this is on the albany group a little section and here is the super super weird part strange red flag that you guys should really be worrying about um and it's this section so let's go to y5 again and let go to their team so we have stewart we have adam we have bradley and we got dave and uh, they all have a description of the roles in y5 token right every single one of them now let's go to Albany group and let's look at their team Stuart Adam Dave um, even though we did we don't see a um, Andy or Alexander Spain on Wi-5 but look at this let's go back to Wi-5 Dave look at that picture on Dave same name and everything same picture here let's read the description of dave 
Dave is a chief technology officer uh, at Albany Group and is responsible for all businesses developing activity and innovation. He has worked in technology industry for over 20 years, most of which has been spent in senior management roles. David is also a key golfer and has recently become a fitness. Okay, so let's go back to Wi Fi and read Dave's. Dave is responsible for our technology and oversees our extensive development team. He has worked in the technology industry for over 20 years, most of which he has spent in senior leadership roles, hope, helping develop technology in the finance and insurance sector. He is a cryptocurrency, blockchain, DeFi, managing a great team of developments from all backgrounds to ensure the delivery, uh, the delivery of the bench's Wi-Fi roadmap. So kind of similar except for the last part which was that he's an expert at the uh, blockchain DeFi, and then let's look at now let's actually look at adam and uh, adam is responsible for the strategy around the daily operations and governance for y5 starting his career in the british armed forces he developed a deep understanding of the importance of accurate real-time intelligence so let's, I'm not going to read the whole thing. Let's just see if it's similar. Adam, co-founder and, uh, and COO of Albany Group, starting his career in the Royal Marines. He developed a deep understanding of the importance of accurate real-time intelligence and his game-changing potential. So almost the same exact uh, word for word. And then Stuart Griffins, co-founder and CEO of Albany Group responsible for setting vision and strategy y5 adam stewards responsible for setting vision strategy and, and governance for y5 same exact people on y5 same exact people and i'll be out uh, i'll be in group and you might be saying well, what do you mean maybe they copied y5 well no they didn't because this company has been founded in 2007 so you tell me who first came out because we know Y5 actually came out not maybe like a couple weeks ago. And this company's been out since 2007. And if you go through their whole uh, website, um, let's see, partners. And sector partners, these are the partners. And none of these partners are in Y5 token. Let's see uh, uh, news, and I think this company is based off in uh, UK. So here's their information. Um, so what I ended up doing, just to reconfirm, I'm a suspicious about the red flags I just saw on. I don't know if you should call these red flags or pretty much. A complete copy of a professional website I'm telling you the website looks almost exactly as the Albany group obviously they changed lots of things to kind of make it unique but they kind of failed it's like they it's like they had it they had an option to copy someone and then kind of change it or put it on their own words but they actually just copied the same exact layout format and just changed the colors and uh, they went ahead and just added the same exact team of the Albany group the same exact um, name word from word and same pictures as Albany group and as we can see they have a long list of people in their company same exact picture same exact information but I don't know I'm just putting this out there if this is your first time hearing about this well I guess like I said in the beginning of the video do your own research but this is some massive red flags out there um, what I ended up doing was I messaged as Albany group I sent them a email stating a couple things so I'm waiting to see if they write back to me and if I do have an update they write back to me I'll give you guys an update because I know this is super important especially if you're investing in the Y5 token so yeah I guess comment down below what you think um also like I said shout out to 
shout out to Daniel Hernandez. He actually gave me the the tip to look out for this. And like I said, it's super strange. Like I said, do your own research, have your opinion, and let me know down below what you think about this. And yeah, we'll catch you all next time. Subscribe down here. Go watch that video coming up next. And yeah, we'll see you. Peace.